What's up, my little tattletales? Listen, breaking news. Remember that $4 million settlement and everybody's wondering whether Tasha K had it or not? Well, guess what? Tasha K's going on the record and she said, baby, she ain't got it. Woo! She said she ain't got it, but guess what? She also spoke on what's going on with those court cases. Remember she said she was going to the appellate and the Supreme Court and everybody was like, girl, stop playing. She says those plans are still in work. Now, before I show you the video, this is YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that button, or better yet, turn your notifications on so we can follow this. But baby, let's hear what Tasha K got to say, and then I'll meet you after the jump, because we got her discuss. See, at this moment, I think it's $4 million you have to pay a celebrity. A lot of conversation has been is, do you even have that amount of money to pay in this lawsuit? even have that amount of money to pay in this lawsuit like is Tasha K worth that amount of money to pay that I ain't got it <laughs> wait, wait. I want I always want to know listen I'm so glad you said it listen, I, ain't I, ain't got it. I ain't don't ask me for no money I ain't got it but listen um we have business uh things in place that takes care of things like this now of course um the pellet court and the supreme court is in process right now so that yes. is that is true you're, you're not gonna you're not trying to pay that yeah. four million you're gonna do the appeal no 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 that's what the pellet court is <laughs> and, and then who's the, trying to pay for who's trying to pay for a million dollars who you got it can, can the let me borrow <laughs> I know. I know. listen that youtube but that youtube money is is it's big checks. I it's, it's good, but I got two children. Listen, let's not forget this is in direct and opposite of what she said when she did her State of the Union. Y'all don't remember when she came out and said she was doing it for the culture and the kiddies. I do it for the hustlers and the kids in the street. But, but remember when she came out and said that? And she said that money was not an issue. You don't remember? Let me refresh your recollection, right? She took to her YouTube channel, Unwind with Tasha K, right? We're literally... It was a 12 minute and 20 minute, 12 minute and 20 second statement. And she had, listen, she came out and she said her interesting thing. Now, what did she say? She expressed that her $4 million loss was not going to hurt her business or her way of life. She also said that she and her husband, Chet, along with her legal team, were preparing for the worst outcome, right? She even called out some fundraising sites that was used in her name to raise money. She said she is not and will not use any fundraising sites such as GoFundMe to raise money. And then she literally warned her fans not to donate to those Skypes sites because it was a scam all right but what about super chat girl right she stated she doesn't need anyone to raise money for herself or her brand she was financially secure and then she ended the live stream which by the way had about 30k viewers let's not forget she really had it coming in right and it literally i think at this point is almost up to half a million views now she has been doing a lot of videos lately it looks like her channel i looked at her channel stats it looks like it has not slowed down so what actually changed what changed first you said you got the money then you said you didn't then again the way your defense team was running it Olga I assumed you had the money and now she's literally going record to say that she hasn't gotten it now listen legal people do have a few reasons why they think she might be acting like or actually doesn't have the money for one maybe she is planning a bankruptcy now i know it was rumored that she couldn't do a bankruptcy but really what it was was she couldn't do a, a, i believe a chapter 7 bankruptcy but she could do a chapter 13. chapter 13 does not alleviate you of all your debts but it does look at your monthly expenses and it consolidates it down into one manageable payment so they the bank trust rubs the bankruptcy trustees also approaches people and asks them to lower amounts so that it can actually be payable. Do you see what I'm saying? She is eligible for Chapter 13. If she shows she doesn't have the money, it might not save her anything. But honestly, anything you can save on anything you can save on four million is good. Now, when she accepted um, the settlement, she said she would not appeal. Appeal. This is what sources are saying. We're still waiting for those court transcripts. She said she would not appeal the settlement. I'm sorry, the um, damages amount. That does not count if she goes and gets the whole case over oh, overturned. The appellate, right? They see the case. If they reject the case or say no, she does have a chance to go to Supreme Court. But don't forget with Supreme Court, you need standing to actually stand in front of the Supreme Court. You just can't bring a case or else they'd be hearing a million cases, right? Last time your neighbor said you looked ugly in your shoes and it embarrassed you and she put some stuff on Facebook, you could bring it 
to Supreme Court. So they have standing, which is the hardest thing. You need to show that you actively have, um, you need to show that you either are suffering or are actively suffering. And by the time the Supreme Court looks at it, you will still be suffering. So somebody that is maybe pregnant, that is literally bringing something in front of the Supreme Court. Once they have the baby, the case literally has no more standing because it was about your rights as a pregnant woman. You're no longer pregnant, so it doesn't have standing. Now, Tasha K will be owing this $4 million for a while because like she said, she don't got it. But what do y'all think about this? Is this surprising to you? People are speculating that this is the beginning of a walk back. This is the beginning of the walk back because honestly, if you don't have the money for the $4 million settlement, Where's the money coming from these lawyers to go to the Supreme Court? And please don't tell me it's going to be Olga. A lot of people don't realize that, but going in front of the Supreme Court is very, very costly. And you don't want no nickel and dime lawyers going in front for you when you get your one chance to really hit it out of the park. Let's not forget, pause, because let's not forget that Tasha K and Cardi B, quiet as is kept, are both facing future litigation. Not for this case, but don't forget Tasha K. There's still an active federal investigation as to how Tasha K got sensitive R. Kelly documents. Now, they already know, and they've already said in their investigation that it was a um, what is it? An officer, a corrections officer that inadvertently, well, not yet, but um, accessed the system and shared sensitive documents with Tasha K. Tasha K is trying to take the reporter defense. Y'all saw it when she was on that, her plane that almost crashed, right? And she was telling everybody, I'm a reporter, I'm a reporter. I think she might've even said she worked for Fox News. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what I heard. The video's on my channel. Go take a look at it, right? Now, if she got it, she can take a journalist's defense. However, the journalist's defense does not work if you pay for your sources. Now, you can pay for private sources, but it are sensitive government documents that she received. And because she paid for it, she could be hit with one, obstruction of justice, and two, um, paying for stolen government property. Now, it is unclear whether feds are going to pursue charges, whether how this is going to play out. I think the feds are actually waiting to see how the trial actually pays out. I know R. Kelly right now is in jail. He's fired his current defense attorneys and he's hiring Bill Cosby's defense attorneys. Whoever those attorneys are, they ain't seeing heaven. They are not seeing heaven. But anyway, she has that coming up, which she might need to lawyer up. Let's hope she doesn't use Olga. She has the appellate. She has the Supreme Court. Folks, how do you guys think this is going to turn out? Are you surprised you don't got the money? Listen, YouTube, she says the YouTube checks are rolling in, but like she said, she got two children and she ain't messing around four million. This is the walkout. People have speculated she has some type of assurance to defray the cost. But even then, y'all, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm definitely waiting to see if those court documents come out to see what's what. All right, my little tattletales. Let me know in the comments. Talk to you later.